Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back for another Fake Grand Order video. Today, uh, I forgot that I never actually did a video where I, uh, <laughs> grinded the actual event. So I'm gonna do that for today's video. Also because it's gonna be one of the very few times I'm gonna be able to basically three turn with, uh, Super Bunyan. So I figure it's best to do it while I can. Plus I like looking at this map. It's a good map. This is a really nice little detail map. So very true to America as well. Like everyone remembers. Oh, they, I just realized because I finished the story, the dinosaurs go away. Sad. I didn't realize that the dinosaurs would go away. There's the wizards that live in Louisiana. No, it's not wizards. Those are the little houses. Never mind, those are chickens. Cincinnati. All good. All right. Go in here. Lake Michigan. I originally tried to do a whole bunch of uh, different kind of team builds on this one until I eventually realized why don't I just go for the old classic way which is literally just brute force it <laughs> so this is the team that I've been using to uh, grind with Bunyan it's very self forward it is not easy to replicate because it requires Oberon and Vich <laughs> and likely maybe a uh, grailed uh, Arash but it's pretty simple from here on you literally just go here, activate the Evening of Shroud, go here, uh, I'm gonna activate these just because I have to, go here, and then this is just to make sure that Arash kills in one go. Uh, actually, I should go here. So I actually like occasionally attacking with Bunyan. The reason is, is that um, it increases her attack and it does help a little bit for the final nodes. It doesn't always have to work out though. But sometimes I like just seeing the damage go up. It is it, it is in your it is a smart idea to attack with Bunyan first, but it's it's not a problem. She should be able to kill here, and then we go from here. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then she goes in here, gives hits him with the America's Dark Sweetheart, fastest MP in the game, I think. It's between this one and regular Bunyan. It's definitely the fastest single target. NP in the game. Go here. Realize that I forgot to switch in the other Vich, but it's fine. Literally, she did more than enough damage. It doesn't matter. This thing is dead. But then just to make sure that she gets like a nice rest at the end of it. I'll go there. I don't even need to do my NP, I think. Literally, no point. I can just do it with normal cards at that point. It is quicker with the MP, but then I don't get to see the animations. And then they all go to bed. All three of them. Nice, simple, and effective. And it usually will always work out. I've also grinded this enough that I don't really need a lot more of it. I'm still debating whether or not to grind more for it. And it really comes down to whether I not whether or not I need more of the um, the golden one. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. He's got two. I may as well just go here. I usually leave one for backup in case Arash ever fails, but he usually never fails. Like, I even forgot to do the, um, the skill one. And yeah, it, sometimes you just low roll. That's how the damage goes sometimes in Fugo, is that sometimes you have a chance to just super crazy low roll it. But I wasn't too afraid on that one. Alright, go here. Uh, it's fine. Uh, for a second there, I thought I screwed up. No, I didn't. Easy enough. Easy peasy. America's Dark Sweetheart. Bam, punch him. Go. It is really funny to me that they've made such a giant elaborate animation for Bunyan, and her second MP is literally just the MP skip. <laughs> You just do it. It's really funny. It does make it a little bit sad because I would have actually probably liked a longer animation with uh, the Learning with Manga crew, but it's fine. It fits lore-wise. Go here. And plus their regular attack animations are pretty good, so... It all works out. She'll punch him again. Boom. Punch. Gone. It's that simple, and I think I've got this down to, I think it's basically as close to a minute as possible in terms of clear time. Yay! 1 million QP, let's go. Yeah, if this, uh, if this event had given just a little bit more QP, 
I think I would definitely go crazier grinding. But I really don't need the materials that they're giving me that much. All things considered. But it's fine, here we go. It also would be nice if she had a let's go here. If she had a uh what's the word I'm looking for? 50% NP, just because it does annoy me a little bit that the, uh, um, that I have 80% instead of 100%, so I have to use a full 50% charger, even though I recognize that it's more than I actually need. <laughs> so it's fun. Go heal. Hmm? Can't you also just use I can use Daikoku then. Oops. Um, I think the problem is is that usually on the first node, typically they fail to kill, is what I remember. Um, because they can kill the um, they can kill the first node pretty easily, but the problem is the second one. Because sometimes you get screwed over by the cards. And it ends up being that you might just be just a little bit short. Plus the uh, the buff to Arash also from Oberon basically guarantees that you'll be able to always get it with... Actually, you know what? I can try and switch it out right now. Thank you for the 4 EXP Bunyan. Go silver app. Back up. Back up here. Sure. Whichever one. Remove Oberon. So get Castor in here. Where are they? Um There they are. They always have such a weird little art thing. I think the the, the other reason I, I use I don't use Daikoken and I use Arash is that Arash costs less. So if I wanted to use Oberon with them to keep the basic thing, I think I go over costed. Let me just show to see. Go here, then. Uh, go here. Yeah, I'm over by seven. But actually, if I keep. Here. The other thing that would also be really nice if I had more uh, copies of the CE. Because starting with 50% also changes a lot of things in terms of the math. Uh, here we go. Yeah, if I remember correctly on this one. So I look at Daikoku again. Their skill is, is that they give it to... They give it yourself, but then the, the actual increase to the allies is over turns. So that's why I also end up not using them in the for the most part. Is because they can't actually reach the ability to hit them without some form of help. But I can try here. So if I go here... Hmm. A way to beat it with both Bunyan and Taikoku can... On the front lines here. I can't, the price goes over. So I'd have to then appraise, go here. I have to find another supporter that won't break me. I think that means that I can go caster. And I think, I think I, I can't go Helena. So I have to go even lower cost if I want to use more. Uh, I have to go even lower. Mary Annie gives 10%, right? Okay. So, would I, would I even be able to use any of my MP here? I also just realized there's no point in me going double um, Coin Sky in this case. Because I'm never going to use them. <laughs> Uh, if that's the case, then I can 
lower this even more. And this can be someone else. I just realized. Okay. So, assuming one doesn't die, so this one actually can be with placed with someone else. Oh, man. Then that means I can put... Who's someone? Is it just Waver in that case? Yeah. He's a universal. He is universal. I don't have any of the other ones. I think I would go Himiko, but Himiko doesn't buff everyone immediately. Um... All right, I'll try this one. I don't know if it has enough power to go to Bunyan, but it's definitely worth a shot. Mary Anning in the back for support. And we'll go from here. Okay. So go here. Go here. Go here. I can also wait on the Bunyan skills then because I'm not going to have him back for the third turn. So if I go here, increase in that. This increases by 30%, so that should be enough for them to do their NP. Um, now should I actually go for, I guess I can go for the crit. Will they actually do enough damage to kill these dudes? Is my other question. Maybe. Maybe. They do. I'm gonna try going this way and see if that works. I think there's like a 50-50 shot they don't kill without um, any buffs to them at all. They do not kill. Oh wait, they did kill. Never mind. Alright, they got, they're in there. Alright, increase by that. That is literally the worst. This is why I switched off of it, because now I need to... I, I can't, uh, can I actually go into Mariani? Um, would Mariani be able to kill? Let's find out. Um, with three, with, with 100% Buster crits, can she take down 163 without any form of buffs to him at all? No, so she cannot. Uh, increase MP gauge. Nope. He's attacked for yourself. That's only her. Um, yeah, this is what we call the screwed situation. That doesn't work out. There was no point. I mean, I do these the three turn them. I can do this any if this isn't three turn. I may as well just give up. I screwed up when I, um, I got screwed by the th the, the triple waiver, because there was no one I could bring in. It had to be, um, it had to be who it had to be. I mean, now I can kill him, but, like, who cares? Not even the full. Now she does her NP. I mean, don't be able to do the clear now, but it's not a full three turn. It's four turn. Disgusting. Dog. Dog. Right here. And yeah, Bunyan should be able to kill here. And if she doesn't, then that's very sad. But she should be able to kill, no problem. Because she has like one like in her. Alright, pretty close. She'll be able to kill from here. She'll be able to ride the new form. Uh, I think if we had not literally gotten screwed by the triple waiver, it would have been possible. So I'm going to try one more time. <laughs> with the exact same setup. I feel like there should probably be a different... Uh, it should have been even Clan Sky at that point. If I remember right, Morgan might actually be the answer. Morgan? I think Morgan is actually technically better. Yeah. For this specific team setup that doesn't use any of the other ones, I think Morgan works out. Uh, okay, we do. We have literally the exact same setup as last time. So go here. 
Yeah, hit him with the rat slab. Boom, boom, boom. I forgot to apply the other one. It might not actually be enough. No, it's enough. I forget they actually do do a lot of damage. <clears throat> okay, so I'll apply this. Mm, no, but this is fine. Because now it's just Morgan time. And Morgan should be more than enough to kill this thing by herself. At least in theory. Yeah, I'll have supercharged Bunyan on my turn. She... Yeah, she should be able to kill her. Yeah. I mean, when you have uh, a, a full board of crit stars, you will kill whatever you're gonna go for. <laughs> and Bunyan has just barely enough to actually do with the MP herself. And so she'll finish this off with Triple Buster, even though she probably won't really need... No, she might still need the, the, the third triple. Yeah, she does. Just barely, though. Yeah. Yeah, boom. I definitely do think you could probably do a full learning with manga, but you need, like, the CE at max level. You need like multiple max limit break copies of it, and I just don't have max limit break. But I still have not received my six copy. I think I still have my base copies of everything. So let me just go here. If you're curious how much dig sites you need to do just to get it from here, I'm pretty sure it's just 24. Because after 24, I was able to get absolutely everything of the dig site without ever skipping anything. Yeah, see, I w I'm wondering if I want more fragments of the Twinkling Star, but I've gotten a decent amount from just doing this over and over again. So dig, dig, dig. Didn't get any from that. Sad. Go here. Unfortunately, none of the blue one. Mm. I don't see any. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all, sp and then I'm all, I'm all done for these. May as well pick up whatever I can. Because I'm, I'm tapped out as far as that goes. But yeah, that's the learning with Mola, uh, the learning with the learning with collab, <laughs> the learning with manga collab, the final stage. Best of luck uh, grinding it up. I've already finished the grinding, and then if you're someone who is literally just skipping, I'm reading the story as it goes along, um, and skipping all the parts where I say fuck. I don't know how to say. Um, she, 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 Fukushin? That was one of the words that fucked me up. How do you say employee in French? Like the actual word? Yeah, because it's spelled the exact same as employee, so I just said employee, but I know that's not right. In French. Yeah, it's spelled, it looks exactly the same, except for the E is slightly different. Employee? Uh, employee, yeah. Employee? It's um. Um? Yeah. Employee? Employee. Employee. Because she's a woman, right? Yeah. Employee. Employee. You are my employee. Does this ever freak you out that Bunyan? Like e. Employee. Employee? Employee. Employee. But, like, I don't think you'll ever be able to get the French pronunciation down. <laughs> Why? You're telling. You're just messing it up. How? I'm telling it you? And you still mess it up. You're telling me. No, say it again. Employee. 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 Just go with that. Employee. Yeah. It's impossible to say during a sentence when they're speaking English. I want you to be my employee. Impossible. Anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Uh, best of luck to you. And happy grinding as everyone just gets ready for Trom to come out sometime in May 15th, it looks like. Uh, no, May 14th or 13th, sometime around then. Until next time, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.